Deep within all the dresses, all the coverings on your body, your body is there. Language is limited because you can't compare bodiless, formless awareness, self that you are with a body that you have formed, but message is same. Physical body remaining the same, dresses go on changing, but the body itself is a dress. A continuously changing dress. Body doesn't impose itself upon me. I say, I am body, I am young, I am old, these thoughts. And the thoughts go on changing. I am rich, I am poor. Are you getting that? So this I thought is dragging the riches to itself, body to itself, also different practices to itself, different thoughts to itself, different speculations to itself. Are you getting that point, please? Inside in your head, how many schools of thought? How many schools of philosophy? How many different practices? So in everybody, there is a Buddhist, there is a Christian, there is a Muslim, there is a Jain, there is a Sikh, there is a Zoroastrian, there is a Saivite, there is a Vaishnavite, are you getting that? In everybody. There is a hedonist or there is an austere person who considers austerity is the name of the religion. Does it not happen in you all, friends? Think. How many strands of thought inside you? Each individual, are you getting that? Each individual is a walking Encyclopedia, eh? not only with the informations, but also he's a walking, call it treasure trove or trove, walking trove of all identities. Possibilities are there in everybody. And all these things you have, you picked up in time. Nobody was born branded. Have you seen born branded anybody with a home, with a cross, with a moon and star, with a hand, with a wheel, with a fire? Nobody is born branded. Nobody must die branded. A person sees it in himself. And what is that I? Which beautifully in Bhagavad Gita says, Nainam chindanti sastrani. Nainam dhati pavaka, nachainam kedenti apahana sosayati maruta, achedu yam madayo yam makledi asosayavacha, nitya saravata stanu achalo yam sanatana. He talks about who you are. Usually, most religions and religious beliefs centers around a godhood, a divine figure. Some believe in a form, some believe in formless. There are many religions who believe in only form, no formless. There are many also those who believe only formless and no forms. There are belief systems. And that is something to be worshipped. God is worshipped. You worship the God. You are not one with the God. When you say one with the God, understand there is a huge difference between when you say I am God and God is in me. Do you understand? The body, if I touch my nose, it is here. If I touch my eyes, it is here. Touch my body, where should I touch? Body is here, but this much is not the body. Touch this place, India is here, but this much is not India. Earth is here, but this much is not Earth. Solar system is here, but this much is not solar system. 
universe is here, but this much is not universe. Totality. So if you understand the God, the divinity, he is also here, but this much is not divine. Isolated, it is a drop. Together, it is ocean. Therefore, if you say, I, and you isolate yourself from the universe, you can't say God. Are you getting that? When God says God, he is in and through everything in this universe. If you say, when God says, I, the whole universe echoes with it. Like president says, I, the whole country echoes with it. You can't say, the president says, I declare the war. You can't say, he has declared, let him fight. No. If an individual says, I, it is I. If in your home you say, I say so, wife can say, he says so. But I don't believe in it. Your children can say, Fire a father has told, let father handle it. In your individual's eye, isolation, in total eye, all inclusive. So if your eye is exclusive, you are not God. You are still yet to be divine, even though you are the divinity. So, Understand. Most religions, the concept of God is somewhere, something doing, I believe, I have to worship. So you die a believer, never the divine. But when you see this for yourself as to who I am, understand. Is something Nainam Chindanti Sastrani, both way. It is a form as well as the formless. It's not only form are only formless, but saguna, nirguna. From the standpoint of the I, the absolute, formless. From the standpoint of the body, that is a physical body, that is a mind. So both divine. Physical body cannot be protected. Your thoughts cannot be sustained. Consciousness cannot be eliminated. That is where living becomes so fantastic. You be the changeless and enjoy the changes. Be the meditation and live with every time of changes. It's literally God playing the fool. Be the God, the divine in yourself, who you are, and play the fool. In a sense, limited from the standpoint of your physical body and mind. And that's something which cannot be destroyed. No fire can touch it, no air can touch it, no water can touch it. Listen. Your thoughts cannot be destroyed by fire. Water, air, are you getting that? What to talk of consciousness? Always remains the same. Achidyo yam adayo yam akladya asya sevacha nitya sarvagata stanuhu achalo yam sanatana. I am Atma, the self, the meaning of the word I. Nitya, eternally existing. Sarvagata, all pervasive, all inclusive. Tasmat achala immobile, sanatana, eternally fresh, sadaiva nutana. When body is changing, mind is changing, creation is changing, it is the changeless absolute. That is sanatana dharma. Depends on whom you the absolute. So, your dharma, the dharma of the humanity, based on whom? On every person. Are you getting that point? This, are you, you see the beauty of it? When you say Sanatana, it's not a Hindu. Are you getting that point? It's not a person. It's your being. So everybody, without an exception, divine. 
you are sanatana who is that you but there is no other concepts can ever describe it is not a thought is not a belief is not a practice it is not an action is not a speech is not what you have or you don't have but who you are having seen it which one is better now which type of faith every faith is fine why i am very happy with myself but i love the buddhist festivals enjoy i am very happy with myself but christmas is so cute continue i am very happy with myself but nothing like this idal fitr continue i am very happy with myself but diwali this festival light is very nice continue i am happy with myself but vaishakhi some sikh festival buddhist festival jain festival muslim festival or i don't like this type of festivals you know depending on this religious faith and all that but i like olympics i like international cricket i like international football european football cup world cup football tennis swimming archery climbing i love climbing mountains continue people say that music is my religion dance is my religion art is my religion nature is my religion food is my religion climbing is my religion. do you have it basically first be yourself are you getting that point please how fantastic it will be should we should we should anybody fight in the name of a religion or a faith be it secular or religious why respect every person at that level of faith when the child is counting we say 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 will you say shut up no he is a baby he cannot say three so he say three so three is fine you can't say wrong three is wrong three is right are you, are you stupid or the child is stupid you see the meaning in child's three when he is talking three when he is talking three you know it is three <coughs> whom shall you let down whom shall you negate whom shall you disrespect whom shall you reject and whom alone you should accept all inclusive tradition and friends it begins with you when you know yourself who you are you accept you are a man you are a young you are a woman you are old you are young you have a body you have this faith you have these thoughts everything about you accept and since in you all the possibilities of all thoughts all religions all secularism is existing you are a walking universe 